What's up guys? So I wanted to bring this back to my channel because I really enjoyed it. Um, it was really hard to film because of like my new schedule and days off and things like that. But I really, really want to try to um, do it now. And it's going to be this, my series on my channel, which is Top 2 Tuesdays. If you don't know what Top 2 Tuesdays is, are, if you don't know what it is, then it is me every week on Tuesdays putting out a video on my top two favorite products, whether it's beauty related, home related, just anything that I'm loving that week, I want to put out. Um, I don't want to do it every week because I don't want to commit to, you know, not being able to put out a video every Tuesday. So I'm going to maybe do it like once a month or once every other week or something like that. But I do want to roll out with it again. And, you know, thumbs up if you do like my top two Tuesdays, if you find it helpful or yeah, just let me know if you guys like it. The two products that I have today are from Katie's channel or from her Snapchat. If you don't know who Katie is, it's Lester Lux here on YouTube and she is huge. So, so when she snapped about it, I had to go out and get it because I loved it. She loved it and it was actually really affordable, which was so nice. So it's going to be um, two Sephora brand products. The first one is going to be the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. And this is in the shade Eclair. This product was only $14, which is amazing since, you know, it's from Sephora. It's a Sephora brand, which, you know, they put out really affordable, great quality makeup. I love this to highlight. I do my normal face routine, which is doing my MAC Pro Longwear under my eye, which is more of my skin tone to kind of cover up the dark circles. And then I do this to highlight my face and then I bake. This is so easily blendable. It has not creased on me at all, even when I don't set it with something. It is really sheer, but buildable. Um, so it's definitely not a concealer to cover up any blemishes or anything like that. It's more of your brightening up concealer. Uh, so like I said, really, really great for highlighting. I love it, so yes. I will also link everything down below so you guys can see it on the website if you want to purchase it, whatever you want to do, um, or check it out. I would definitely check it out though. The next product is also kind of goes hand in hand with this guy. Um, it is the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops and this is in the color Ultra Light. And this is the bad boy here. As you may know, I've been so into highlighting and baking um, as everyone else is on YouTube. It's just so beautiful and I'm loving like how my skin looks when I do it. It's that extra step that I take, but I love the overall, you know, look. And I don't do it every day because I don't wear makeup like this every single day to work. So it's only, you know, when I'm filming, when I'm going out, whatever it may be. But this is beautiful to highlight with um, as a base. So not as just a highlighter on its own. I don't find it as pigmented on my skin tone um, compared to hers, because on her it's like gorgeous. But on me, it's not as bright. I still need to put something on top of it. And let me show you kind of how it looks. So they're droppers like this and really a little goes a long way. Let me just show you guys on the back of my hand. So creamy, so easily blendable, and honestly, I tap it into my skin versus rubbing it into my skin, and then I kind of leave it like that. So once I do that on my cheekbones, I take my damp beauty blender and I just slightly press on it, so it kind of blends into my skin a little bit better, and really looks like I'm glowing from underneath my foundation. Then I do my highlighting routine, which is my... Becca Afterglow or my Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop and Pearl. I put that just right on top of it and then I blend it out some more. So it's really all about blending versus just putting a stripe on your cheeks because then that way it will look a lot more natural and more like on point. So your highlight is on point when you do it that way. These two products are definitely on my favorites for this month, this week, whatever it may be. And oh, and this one I didn't mention the price, but this one was also $14. So for both of these, 
so affordable and this will go a long long way like well that is all for my video those were my top two products for this week let me know if you guys are gonna go out and purchase these items I so think it's worth it or let me know if you've tried it out and what you think about the product all right well I will catch you guys all in my next video talk to you later bye mm.